All right, I'm Charlie Curtis Beard, and I'm a senior at LHS. You know? I've been told you're different because you actually know how to respect women. As if respecting women was like an unknown picture, and I'm Leonardo da Vinci drawing it out years before it even existed, like every single guy is in a pack of wolves that slowly stalk their prey because they only want sex, as if I'm Thomas Edison and girls are light bulbs and it took me thousands of tries before I could actually get it right. See, I didn't have a dad for the first seven years of my life, so I spent a large amount of my childhood looking for the definition of masculinity, but I was looking in dictionaries and indexes that were created by deadbeat dads and women abusers, so I don't think I have the answer yet. But I feel like my answer will dif defer from what society perceives as masculinity because of this, I've been called prude. Like I rolled too far from the tree of disrespect, planted on the grounds of dishonesty, and rolled over to the much shorter tree that was planted where black teens like me would actually get killed for saying hi to a white woman because it was considered disrespectful. When did those black teens become our idols? And when did Emmett Till ever ride up to his best friend's house in a Ford Focus wearing Nikes and a snapback conversating over terms of bros before hoes? Did you hit that? Have you smashed that? Have you tapped that? If these are flashbacks, then it's no wonder why it's perceived that all guys have remained exactly the same. It's a wonder how our sexuality follows us around like our shadows. As, as a man, I'm taught to wear my anatomy like it's my skin, but what happens if my skin is already black? I've been told that all guys are douchebags and all girls are tricks and douches play tricks on tricks, but here I thought tricks were for kids. I've been told that boys will be boys and boys will be men and men sleep with women, so just do it, but I am no man. These hands are not the match that ignites a woman's innocence, nor are they the firefighters that put them out. I am no god. I'm simply just an alien. See, in high school, I never remembered a single thing about pre-cal, but I'm constantly reminded how to take a woman's virginity as fast as a freight train can take a life. Use lies to get inside of her and use heartbreak to tear your way out through her chest. This is no game. Charlie, you man up or be a punk, cause virginity? Virginity is not a prerequisite to masculinity. You hit it and quit it in order to be a man. You, you lose your virginity as fast as a gust can take away a flame, but I feel like Thomas Edison because I'm still so afraid of the dark. I think I'll keep this light. See, I don't know what being a man means yet, but I know that I'm a skyscraper, only as tall as my torn beliefs reaching for it. My dad assures me that I'm getting closer every day, but it's hard to see through the darkness. So until I reach it, I think I'll keep this light. Yeah.